Joe Burke, and I wanted to answer your question about the 35 Newton force that was acting on an object at an angle of 12 degrees from the horizontal. Well, a vector force acting at a 12 degree, uh, 12 degrees from the horizontal can be represented with an arrow that looks something like this. I'm going to exaggerate the angle a little because 12 degrees is very small and I want you to be able to see it. So the angle is 12 degrees. And fortunately, the way this is drawn, the way it's described, this is what you call a standard angle because it's, if you imagine that this is your y-axis in yellow, we've got our x-axis in green here, then uh, this is measured uh, counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. And it makes our calculation a little easier. So if you want to find the horizontal component of the force, then what you're actually looking at is the component that acts in this direction. And what you might notice here is that the horizontal component of the force, when the angle is very small like this, is almost as long as the magnitude of the force itself. And if we run a calculation that will bear out, we can represent the horizontal component of the force using Vx, V for vector, and x for the x component of that vector. That's if this is our vector right here. And the formula that you can use is the magnitude of the vector, which our vector is 35 newtons. 35 newtons. And so the magnitude, uh, the horizontal component, is going to be equal to the magnitude of that vector, 35 newtons, times the cosine of the angle, of the standard angle, which is 12 degrees, which is 12 degrees. And if you run that through a calculator, making sure that you are in degree mode, you'll see that that comes to approximately 34.2 degrees, which, as I said, is very close to the magnitude of the actual vector itself. Now, the vertical component, you could draw like this. And that is formula for that is the magnitude of the vector, which is 35 newtons, times the sine, instead of the cosine, the sine of 12 degrees. So almost the same formula, just use the sine instead of the cosine. Make sure, again, that you're in degree mode, and that will come to approximately 7.3 degrees. And that's how you calculate the horizontal and vertical components of a force. Hope that was very helpful for you and others. Have a good day.